Hey, everybody. Well, it's just been an amazing three days. The weather has just been just, wow, spectacular. I can't believe it. It's, uh, wow, it's like winter's gone and uh, spring's here, at least for this week. I don't know. I can, you know, no telling around here. But uh, anyway, uh, I was uh, wanted to do the part two of the new Dutch bucket build. Um, unfortunately, guys, uh, <laughs> I got it pretty much all put together and running. I, I was gonna try to, to show you how I put the, the rear end part of it all together and all. But since it was a long weekend, uh, everybody, their brother, their dog, their weed eater, their lawn blower, their every machine has been running nonstop <laughs> around here. Way too noisy for a video. In fact, for today's even a little noisy. But anyway, I wanted to show you what, I, what, I, what I've done. Um, I got the I got the all all the back of it done, and uh, I'll I'll show you that a close up of it. Uh, basically, it's just you know, my my water delivery system is drilled right up, <coughs> right up in here, and uh, I'll show you a close up of this. And uh, I, I've just got a, a a manifold a six six piece manifold on here to direct the water into the backs, and I'm running perlite this year. I've never grown in perlite before. Uh, I've, I've grown in the Hydrotron, but I thought I'd try the Perlite. So anyway, we'll see. The buckets are nice and light. <laughs> anyway, so I've got some cukes going in here. And uh, I'll show you what I've, what, I've, what I've done in the back and how I put that together in case, you know, anybody out there wants to do it. Um, this I'm going to show you too. <clears throat> you can see these buckets are all wrapped up and they're looking kind of funky, eh? And uh, I, I didn't do a real, like last year I wrapped them real nice and tightly. I'm just trying to keep the light off of them. Uh, these white plastic buckets, although they're free, they're very, very transparent. And what I've found is nutrients and sunshine make an amazing <laughs> amount of algae. So uh, that being said, I decided I'd wrap them. And uh, whew, I gotta maintain hydration. It's, it's warm in a greenhouse. Anyway. I'm using this panda film, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Now, I know some people just wrap them with anything and everything. Um, I did try that, and uh, what I found is if anything, if it's anything dark, man, those buckets get hot uh, if they're in the direct sun. Mine are mostly in the direct sun during the day here, although the sun's right behind that nice pine tree there right now for about an hour, I get. So um, I like this black and white poly. A lot of people call it panda film. And uh, it's just very, very thin, but it's it's completely light, light tight, and just cuts like butter. So I put the white side out on purpose, is because what I'm trying to do, or, or my idea here anyway, is to direct as much light, sunlight, off of the surface as I can. I want to reflect it back. I don't want them to get hot, but at the same time, I want those buckets nice and dark inside, because the roots, man, they just come out nice and beautiful, bright and white. And anyway, so anyway, that's <laughs> that's the deal with the panda film. Another thing I wanted to correct, I told you. Uh, on the, on the last video when I was putting this together to put a little Vaseline on your tubing to shove it through those grommets. Well, it works great, but uh, there's, something I, 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 there's something I found out later. Uh, 1952 Jeep uh, posted a comment and uh, reminded me of the fact that Vaseline, it, it attacks rubber eventually. So anyway, uh, maybe not right now, but down the road and make it crack up. Well, we don't want that. So. I apologize for, for telling you that. If you've done it already, <laughs> take it off. <laughs> yeah, I know. What do I say? Uh, you go with some KY jelly or you know anything anything water soluble, but no no petroleum based stuff. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jason, for that. And uh, I was also asked if I have any plans uh, with detailed um, detailed <laughs> guys. You see how detailed. <laughs> Really, I'm sorry. No, I don't have any any plans. Um, they're just so doggone, you know, basic and simple. Um, I've done a couple of them, so I kind of know where I'm going with it. Um, but I'll, I'll I'll show you what I've done in the back. So you know, maybe between last video and this, you can piece it together and, and come up with one of these because they're an amazingly cheap and amazingly easy build drawing system, and they produce a lot of food. All right, guys, let me show you that. All right, guys, it's just a basic reservoir here. Uh, this is the return 
<coughs> this is the return line back into the reservoir. Um, got a humongous air stone down there <laughs> hooked up to this uh, uh, air pump by uh, General Hydroponics. It's a four port air pump, dual diaphragm. Man, I'm telling you guys, it's an awesome air pump. I can run three systems on it actually. It's great. Anyway, I don't know, this pump's maybe 150 gallons per hour. I, I forget, just an old pump. That's into here, and uh, I've just drilled right into here. And <clears throat> that half inch just runs halfway up the, up the, uh, up the bench there till I, till I get to the next support. And then I just have it cut right up through the center. And, uh, and it's just hooked on to a, uh, to a nice little manifold, which I'll, I'll show you here. Okay, this manifold here is uh, just a Rainbird manifold. It was like six bucks, <laughs> something, maybe three or four, I forget. Very, very cheap. Anyway, so that's, that's what's uh, dividing all the water up and sending it to its uh, respective places to the other buckets. Now, okay, while I was doing this video, <laughs> I had these one gallon per hour uh, fittings on the end of the tubing to, to only allow that much. Well, they plugged up immediately. <laughs> so, so I've changed that. Uh, so yeah, so now I've got a little different system. It's uh, it's kind of a, a, like a drip peg. You just put your tubing on it, plugs into your rock well. I use uh, three and a half inch rock well cubes when I get my stuff going and, and then I, I, I change them into something, well, transplant them, I guess, right? So uh, I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you that. And that's what, I, what I'm running right now. Uh, the one gallon per hour ones, <laughs> they plug right up. <laughs> This perlite is quite dusty, huh? and, and I washed it quite good before I used it, but uh, yeah, beware of that, guys. And now, this, this is what the emitters look like when they're not uh, stuffed in the ground. You can just see just a little, like a little tip on there for, for your uh, tubing to go on, and it's got a slit in it, you know, and they just sit and they just kind of, they just kind of sit and spray like that. Now, I put them in all of them because <laughs> all, all of the gallon per hour ones, <laughs> they plugged up. They, in fact, they plugged up in a half hour. So there's, a, there's one running. That's a, a little uh, pink brandy wine tomato here. So, well, everybody, that's, that's pretty much just about it. There's not much to them. There's not a whole lot to explain. Uh, just a very, very basic, simple, simple solution. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're really, really simple. Um, and <laughs> honestly, that's why I like it. There's not a whole lot to go wrong with them. Although, if it can go wrong, it has happened to me. <laughs> anyway, guys, I got some peppers going here. I got some eggplant over here. Uh, that could be vice versa. I might have mixed it up. Anyway, I got three uh, pink brandy wines, and I got three of these miniature cucumbers this time. I'm going to try the small ones. Uh, because Lenka makes amazing, amazing pickles. Uh, they're just spectacular. So uh, tomorrow I'll be bringing out my NFT system. I'll be putting it out here. It's a portable when I, I bring it in, do some stuff indoors in the winter. And I'll be finishing up this Krotky system sometime during the week if I get time. Uh, I've changed jobs, so my time is a little bit, uh, a little bit funny right now. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to the season. I guess I'm officially growing. Uh, I might have put these out a little early, but man, it's been so nice. We'll see. I like to push my luck. Okay, guys, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody's doing this year. Uh, gives me good ideas for next year. So anyway, listen, until I see you next time, guys, be good to each other. Above all things, be good to each other. Uvidimese pozdje, budžte na sebi hodni šikni.